This thing pumps, it sucks, and it even has a light. But is this tiny thing really worth it? Let's put it to the test. Flextail saw our REI backpacking video and thought, hey, maybe you want to try our pump. We said, sure. Not sponsored, but we are going to give it a test. Here's everything that comes in the package. The pump comes with five different nozzles. We've got our air mattress, boats, uh, vacuum bag suction. It even has one for small water toys. A USB-C cable and a bag to carry everything in. It uh, just a double tap to start it. One to go off. You're gonna suck in the air here and it just blows it out on the other side. This is now a high pressure pump, so you wouldn't be using it for, say, your stand-up paddleboard. We are probably gonna be using it mostly for our air mattress. Technically, it's not advertised for this, but we're thinking that maybe we could use it for help with the campfire. You know, instead of like trying to get that fire going, put that little fan on it and maybe give it a little boost. It does have the deflate option and it comes with an attachment that you put on the intake side. You can just pop it on there and then use it to suck out all the air you need. The travelers might really like this, especially if you have like those vacuum bags and you need more space, you just suck all that air out and <laughs> gives you all that extra space in the, your suitcase. It has an LED light, so you just push the button once and hold. That is the low setting, which is 40 lumens or 10 hours if you leave it on. And then it has um, a medium, which is quite a bit brighter, 160 lumens, and that lasts like two and a half hours. And then of course you have high, which is the 400 lumens. Oh my goodness, that's bright. And that will last you an hour. And once you're on a high setting, you just hit it once to turn it off. So you have to actually do, hold it to start it. And then you have to actually cycle through to be able to turn it off. So this low light is actually about the equivalent of an iPhone flashlight, 40 to 50 lumens. You'd probably want to use this as your secondary light source and having you know, like a headlamp for your main one. A nice feature about this though is that it does have a metal little handle so you could hang it up in your tent if you needed and then you'd have a light to set everything up. An interesting thing is there's actually a magnet in here so you can attach it to metal. Attached. It seems like a pretty strong connection but it does move around so you want to be a little bit careful because if somebody bumps it, it will fall off. This thing has a 1300 milliamps battery, which in comparison to the iPhone 14 has about a little over 3000. So yeah, it's good sized. It has a rubber flap cord right in there and it kind of snaps into place. Can you use this to charge your phone? No, but they make a larger version that does. One thing that we don't actually like is that there is no indicator of how much battery is actually left in this thing. Have you used almost all of it and you still have like five more things to pump up? Who knows if you have enough? Instructions actually say that it does have two indicator lights. Uh, at 5%, it'll turn on red, I'm assuming, but then also it will stay red if you, all the way up to 99%, and it only turns green until it's fully charged. When you plug it in, it does have a light that pops on, but who knows what it's at? Could be 20%, could be 75%. So it would be nice if they had some sort of indicator to tell you exactly what battery percentage you're at. It says it's waterproof with an IP44 rating, What's that mean? Well, it means it can get wet in the rain. Um, high pressure water? No. So don't put it in your dishwasher. We're gonna put this to the test with our REI Stratus sleeping pad, not sleeping bag, and our Nemo tensor. We're gonna test out how many times we can pump these pads up before we lose all of our charge. Now that we have found out which one fits on it, we're gonna take it out, add it to the pump. We're gonna add it to the hole. Oh, <laughs> so we don't want the light. But if you needed to see it, that, I mean, in the middle of the night, that's great. <laughs> it's actually going pretty fast. Inflating fairly quickly. I'm shutting it off because it feels pretty full. So it doesn't appear that there is a automatic shut off. Okay, nice, quick. That's one. This Nemo one we'll do next, put on top. It is the Tensor Insulated Regular Wide. So we'll just do it right here. There is some conspiracy, I don't know, using a mouth if it you know, causes the condensation inside there that can make it like moldy or not. Another reason that would be good to use the pump. So this one, it doesn't like stay on like it did with the REI. So we'll just have to hold it as we pump. 
That is number two uh, sleeping pads that we have filled up with this little guy. We're gonna deflate them and start all over again and we will time it this time. The instructions say that it can do up to 10 sleeping pads. Let's go on to number three. Okay, almost there. Stop. So that was one minute, seven seconds to fill that one up. So let's see how quickly the REI goes. There we go. Okay, done. That was 37 seconds. 37 seconds, that's pretty quick. Um, but if you wanna, if you see it, I mean, by comparison, the REI one is smaller than Nemo, so of course it's gonna be a little bit quicker, but 37 seconds is pretty darn quick. Okay, number four. So let's deflate and keep on going. This is gonna be number 16. Oh, gonna make it, it's getting quieter. With the Flextail Tiny Pump 2X, we were able to pump up our sleeping pad 16 times and it had just a little bit of juice left over. That is without using the light, so if you're gonna be using that in your tent, you might not get as many pumps out of it. Would we recommend this? Yes. Uh, but keep in mind that it's not an ultra light item, so it's, you know, it has some weight to it. But they do make a smaller version and then also the bigger version as well. We'll have all the links of the items we talked about today in the description below. Go check out this video, you may just like it. And you can check out more about us at ExploreTrekAdventure.com and we'll see you next time.